Now, I'm sure you all are wondering, Steve, why are you getting into a Maxima right now? Well, let me tell you all what happened to me on yesterday. So, of course, I work at night. So, I got off on Wednesday morning, and my car drove fine to work, but I did notice the brake light came on. I thought that was weird, but I knew it was time to do my brakes anyway, because they had started to squeal, like, not all the time or anything, but just, like, maybe every... 15th time or so I applied the brake it would just be like you know a little squeal but so then I thought a light come on I'm like hmm, that's weird that that small squeal would you know make the warning light come on but I was like whatever you know I know it's time to do them anyway so I had already made an appointment to change my brakes and everything but you know the car drove fine to work Tuesday night Wednesday morning I get off get in the car and the clutch is totally gone clutch will not it's just like on the floor you know how the clutch is usually like you know at a ready level even with the brake and the gas and no the clutch is just all the way on the floor won't engage and so of course my car won't start now I work at a hospital with a parking deck so I am in a low parking deck with no clearance so I'm trying to you know figure out what it possibly could be because I'm like in my head I'm like okay I drove to work fine, the clutch worked fine yesterday. There's no way the clutch just doesn't work when it worked fine when I got here. I'm like, it must be something electronic or something. So I keep trying to start the car and eventually it'll start, but I mean, the clutch still won't work. So I mean, obviously it's not drivable. So I ended up calling Adi and um, I would like to give a shout out to Adi for being so just amazing customer service. Like I've never encountered such good customer service like almost portionable. They were like, oh, okay, Mr. Johnson, we don't know what that could be, but we're gonna send somebody out to get you and tow you away, and we're gonna, you know, get you a, a loaner, obviously, until we figure out what's wrong with it. So I was like, okay. So um, they sent the tow truck out. Now, this was the other thing. I told her, I was like, I'm in a parking garage with like seven feet of clearance. I, I told her this. She still sent the wrong freaking tow truck and so I'm gonna cut, that's the footage I did get. I didn't get much footage from it because I was just, I worked all night, my phone was about to die, so I wasn't really filming the whole thing like that. But I will cut to some footage of me riding through the parking lot. So YouTube, I am currently getting towed through the parking deck, getting really close to cars. My freaking parking brake is under, saying it's under duress. This is a freaking all-wheel drive car being towed. All types of alarms are going off. But I can't get put on the back of it because uh, there's no clearance in here. So for this little while, I have to get drug. Uh, I just put the car in neutral and it's like killing me right now. Why am I getting towed to the Audi dealer? We shall see. Boy, this that old bull right here, boy. So yeah, that was just brief, but that was when he, so what he had to do was like, pull me in neutral through the parking garage until we got to the open air when he can just, you know, put me on top of the truck to raise it up or whatever. So he got me on that finally. That, that literally took an hour to get out of that parking garage because it was so tight in there. And like I say, literally, because like, I'm like, what, 5'11", 5'10", and I can like reach up and just like touch the top of the clearance of the uh, of the parking deck. So we got out, we got to the dealership, and um, they still were like, they have no idea why the clutch won't work, but they were like, don't worry, we're gonna take care of it. Um, so that's why I'm in the Maxima. They didn't have a loaner, so they they shuttled me to Enterprise and then bought me, you know, a Maxima to drive till they figured it out. So. Great customer service from Audi. But um, this brings up several issues I have to discuss with you guys. First of, first and foremost, have any of you all had this issue? Like I said, clutch just wouldn't engage. It was just laying on the floor, just a dead clutch after it had been working perfectly fine. Everybody knows that's not how it works. The, the clutch will, you know, usually start to slip first and, you know, kind of gradually wear, like everything gradually wears. Also, the car only has 30,000 miles on it, so the clutch shouldn't be bad. So. The clutch wouldn't engage, but first the brake light came on. So based on my research I've been doing, they say in some Audis the clutch fluid is 
attached to the brake fluid so if the brake fluid gets low then the clutch won't engage so that's what the only thing i can think it it could be um uh, maybe i had a, a leak in my brake line somewhere the fluid ran out and so now there's no clutch fluid or brake fluid um let me know if you all think that's what it is if it's something else that happened also this may help you figure it out my epc light came on but that was only after trying to start it with no clutch like the engine was really stressed out trying to start it like with the clutch kind of just hanging there like kind of half engaged um the epc light came on and then eventually the check engine light came on so my brake light my epc light and my check engine light by the end of it were all on wouldn't do anything clutch just dead wouldn't engage wouldn't do anything um trying to see if i can think of anything else to help you figure out what might be wrong with it uh, uh nope that's pretty much it had had no problems before that like i said that that brake light had just come on like the, the day before so i don't know if that has something to do with it maybe that fluid ran out but that's my kind of guess of what happened but y'all comment below please help me out let me know has this happened to you what do you think why did my clutch suddenly not work um so I guess that's pretty much what happened. Um, another thing I want to talk to y'all about, now this raises another question. Now I'm kind of like hesitant to tune a little bit because I'm like, I'll be looking crazy right now had I tuned the car. Even though if, if it is the brake line issue, I mean, that's not like a really expensive fix. Like it wouldn't like, it's not like that would like kill you, you know? Um, I guess if you tune the car, you just don't want like super major stuff to go wrong like an engine part or you know a transmission part Which I mean it's manual, but still um, I guess that's the only major thing But now I'm just kind of you know might wait a little while I'm still gonna do everything else to the car like I say some mods are already on the way, but before I actually tune it I'm gonna make for sure for sure that the engine is mechanically and the training, you know, the drive train, the major stuff is working. Also, I might get a daily. Because what I plan to do with the S5, I don't want to be driving it every day. So, I might get a daily car so that I don't have to drive a loud and low manual car every day. Because already driving a manual every day is a little aggravating sometimes. So, if it's loud and you know attracts attention yeah i don't know if i want to do that every day so yeah that's pretty much what happened like i said comment below let me know if you all know what happened or you know can figure it out if it's happened to you um we got a lot more videos on the way i guess now i gotta do a review of this maxima because it's actually kind of nice it's not that bad and don't forget to check out our other content like share subscribe subscribe I was so embarrassed y'all have y'all ever been like at work like freaking having your Audi towed away on a tow truck has that ever happened that's embarrassing the no wheel drive 229